What is going on everyone, I'm Adriano and this video is about how to convert a Parquet file to a CSV file in Python using the pandas library. I'm also going to cover how to write without compression as well as writing with gzip compression. So to get us started here, we're going to import the pandas library. So import pandas as pd. And now the next step here is we're going to read in the Parquet file. So I'm going to assign it to a variable in Python called Parquet underscore file. And it's the full length of the location to the Parquet file, as well as the name of the file with the extension dot Parquet. So next, we're going to create a pandas data frame from this Parquet file. And in order to do that, we're going to use the read underscore Parquet method. So we're going to create a new variable called data frame, and it's going to be equal to ed dot read underscore parquet. And the only mandatory variable that we need to pass in is the parquet file location and name. So I'm going to pass my parquet variable to this method here and give that a run. Great. Now, just to make sure we brought in our data successfully and we're happy with all the columns that are in our pandas data frame, we can now use the head method to inspect our data. So it's df.head. And as you can see here, I have my columns and first five rows. And this is just fake customer data. Now, if you wanted to do additional manipulation on your data, maybe some transformations at this stage, you would do this. But for my case here, I'm happy with the way the data is coming in in Parquet. All I want to do is write it to a CSV file. So I'm going to move ahead to writing my data as a CSV file. So now I'm going to create a new variable called CSV output and assign it to the new location on my machine that I want to write my CSV file to. So it is the full file location with the name of the file dot CSV to indicate it's a CSV file. And now we can go ahead and use the data frame dot to underscore CSV method to write our data. So the first parameter we want to pass in is the, the file location path and name. Now we can give this a run and it will write successfully. However, by default, this will add an index to our CSV file which and most likely not what we're looking for if we're just doing a straight conversion through Parquet to CSV. So I'm now going to add the index parameter, make it equal to false. By default, this is true. Now I'm just going to give that a run. And we have now created our CSV file without compression. Now, if we open up our data set, as you can see here, we have our data that's a CSV. And what you notice is the delineation or separator that the writer uses in pandas with this method is comma. So in a lot of cases, this might be what you need, but if you wanted to write it at with a tab separated delineation, that's possible as well. All we're going to have to do is add another variable called SEP, which stands for separator. And we're going to make this equal to slash P and let's give that a run. So now if we look back at our data set, you now notice that the commas are gone and now we have a tab separated CSV file. All right, so let's move on to writing this data set with compression. So now I'm going to pass a new variable, which is going to be called CSV underscore output compressed. And this is just a name of the file and path that we want to write to. So I'm writing it to a new folder and it's dot CSV. And you want to make sure you're now adding the compression extension of the file. So GZ stands for a gzipped compression file, which we're going to write to. So now I'm going to add a new variable called output and we're going to make it equal to DF dot to CSV. So using the same method as before, and we're going to pass the variable from above, which is our compressed file location. Again, we're going to use index is equal to false. I'm going to keep the default comma separator. So I'm not going to add the set parameter. But now the new parameter we're going to have to add to make sure it writes with compression is going to be called compression. And I'm going to make that equal to gzip as a string and that's it. And we can give this a run and we'll have a compressed CSV file. Now, if we compare the uncompressed to compressed files we have written, as you can see here, the compressed file is significantly smaller than the uncompressed CSV file. I hope you found this video helpful and you now know how to convert a single parquet file to a CSV file using the pandas library in Python. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos on data integration and data engineering. See you next time.